What's up guys, Megan Eric here from AVO. Behind us we've got the AVO Ram that we just installed a four wheel camper on. Um, Eric's gonna walk us around and show us everything on this camper. Follow along. guys behind me we're very excited to show you our new four-wheel camper on the Ram 2500 uh, a lot of new stuff for us here the Ram 2500 is an awesome addition to um, to our fleet here at AVO um, really we've, we've had the Gladiator as our main uh, vehicle at shows and now it's awesome to introduce a full-size uh, vehicle uh, here at AVO for both here and also for AVO jacks um, We've got a Carly suspension on the truck that we added to help handle the weight with uh, some higher spring rate rear coils um, and some uh, wheels and tires, wheels from AEV and some Falcon Wild Peak RTs and some more cool goodies from AEV on the way and stuff to make this look tougher. Um, but the really exciting part is, of course, the four-wheel camper on the back of it. This is a, a huge new addition for us at Asheville Vehicle Outfitters and really excited to be working with four-wheel to bring four-wheel campers to the southeast. Uh, we've got a full showroom in uh, Jacksonville, Florida with uh, showroom, showroom models on the ground to, to show people in real life what these things look like. So you can walk in and actually see these things at different size campers because they're specific for mid-size and full-size and the different bed lengths. Behind me, the Hawk is probably one of the most popular campers. It is a slide-in, fully self-contained camper. It is a camper model, and that can get a little confusing when I say camper. Um, because there's two versions. There's technically a shell model and a camper model. The camper model comes um, from the factory from Four Wheel Camper with integrated water and a fridge, whereas the shell models be a little bit more simple. They don't come with a factory water system or integrated fridge, which a fridge isn't a big deal because you can either put an A or B or Dometic in there. Uh, and as far as water, you would just bring your own water in that case um, and just kind of keep things simple. Uh, this is a pretty loaded out uh, hot camper. On the outside, you can see the smooth uh, charcoal gray exterior, uh, smooth aluminum exterior. Uh, you, that's uh, a little different than the kind of corrugated aluminum you've seen on four-wheel campers. This is a little bit more of a modern look and a little bit of a premium over the uh, standard kind of aluminum finishes. Um, this is an exhaust for the water heater. This is our water fill here. We can just fill into the water tank on board and we can also use the city hookup as well. So if we're at a campground or somewhere we can go ahead and make a connection from the city to the camper, that actually will provide enough pressure we don't even have to use the water pump, which is cool. So that's where we, where we fill. We have the exterior LED package and there's also LEDs underneath the side of the camper here too. So as far as using this camper around camp and stuff i mean you can illuminate the area and have a really nice surround lighting so you can work around the camper and hang out uh, and kind of see what you're doing this right here is a drain for the sink inside and we'll give you a tour on the inside here in a second right here this is our shore power hookup and again if we're this is parked at home or you've got it stowed in the garage while you're not using it or we are somewhere uh, traveling where we can hook up the shore power we want to go ahead and top off the batteries this is a great way to do it and then this is our exterior outside exterior shower. 
Um, and you can see you've got cold and hot. So once we turn on the water heater, we can go ahead and rotate for hot water or cold water out here and rinse off, which is, is awesome. New uh, that you don't see here is a new shower enclosure from Four Wheel Camper as well. That was just released and is now an option for all the new camper orders, which is cool. So you'll see that on the outside. You can see your side marker lights from Four Wheel Camper as well. That's cool on the full-size trucks and full-size campers. Those come standard uh, since the trucks are a bit wider and taller. Uh, moving along the back, you'll, just a couple features. You've got a rear uh, solar input here because this does have a solar, solar setup from the factory too. Um, this is your rear uh, cassette uh, for, the, um, for the integrated cassette toilet that this camper has. This is a front dinette camper, so I'm going to show you. It's got pretty much all the features in there. So in this case, with the integrated toilet, we can actually just remove the cassette from the outside of the camper. It's a very sanitary way to do it. And then we can go take it to, to go dump it somewhere. Um, and then we just close that and lock that from back here. This is a water fill for that integrated cassette. So it's a very, very cool option um, from the factory um, to be able to have a, a toilet inside where you can use it in the middle of the night if you had to. On this side, you've got your propane compartment. You can access both uh, both tanks from, from the outside of the camper, obviously. Uh, that's the right way to do it. Only one tank is hooked up at a time. Um, the other is a backup. And, um, and that makes it easy because if we have an issue and we know that this one runs out, we've got a backup here. Um, you know, some will say with the, with the larger, you know, 20 pound tank, you know, once you do deplete it, there's not a backup there. So uh, for how most customers use this, one of these tanks can last a very long time, even using the heater and the water heater. And so uh, the more you use it, kind of get an idea of how much propane will last you on a trip and especially what time of year you're using the camper too. You got an exterior light. Uh, this is part of your uh, exterior LED lighting package. This is just the uh, venting compartment behind the uh, fridge. And then you got your side window here. This is an eight foot Fiamma awning as well. So that just cranks out. We've got the handle for that inside the camper. And for the most part, that's a, a tour of the outside of a four wheel camper hawk um, that we have on our truck, okay? We have uh, this, these are actually really awesome. You have the screen door that detaches from the main door. Uh, this is cool. If we're using the camper bunch, we can go ahead and lock this door out and then just have the screen door here so that, of course, we can get some, some air into the camper and ventilate the camper, but we can also keep the bugs out uh, from the camper too while, while we're uh, maybe not in it or we're just hanging out inside. Uh, follow me. We'll hop up inside and I'll show you guys uh, the inside of the Hawk Front Dinette. So guys, so we're inside the hot camper right now. This is a front dinette camper. Um, so I'll get to kind of the seating configurations here. But as I walk into the camper in this uh, configuration, the dinette is right in front of me and I've got everything around me here to my left and to my right. To my left, I've got the flush mount sink and stove option from four wheel camper. Um, the flush mount option is, is definitely uh, the, very popular. And it's, it's that way too, because number one, it looks better than the standard sink and stove that you get, um, you know, standard with these campers. But also when they're closed, you can put stuff on top of these, uh, on top of the counter surface. And, um, you know, maybe that's some groceries or that's just some gear you want to put up top, but it creates for a little bit more space. Um, over here, you'll see the solar controller um, from Overland Solar. You got your thermostat for your heater right here. We've got 12 volt outlets and USBs and a voltage gauge here. Um, we've got our, our 110 outlets here, which when we are hooked up to shore power, these are activated. This is not hooked up to an inverter necessarily that's installed in the camper. That is a new option from four wheel camper, but this is just for use when we are hooked up to a shore power. We have our water pump um, where we can turn on from here. Inside here, we can actually see our hot water heater um, activation switch. We have our water pump and our valve to get to easily. And here we have our kill switch for the camper. Um, we have our fuse block as well, which is awesome. So we can get to our fuses quickly. And here I've got storage and we were using the camper this weekend. Here we can put in all sorts of cool stuff. Um, you know, we got a little cutting board and then also we can put our utensils. You can see these drawers you have to lift and pull so that way these just don't go bouncing around. In this compartment here, we have our batteries. And in this case, we've got um, two AGMs. Um, our more popular options are now becoming lithium batteries for sure across the board, four-wheel camper and more. Uh, to my right, this has the integrated cassette toilet. And so we can see how 
Um, the toilet is easily accessed inside this camper. And then when you go to flush it, you just pull up on that and push it down and it all drains into that exterior cassette, which is cool. Over here is our fridge and the fridge is a two-way um, isotherm fridge, which is actually got lots of space. Again, we use this this weekend and um, uh, on, the, on the side of the racetrack, camping for the weekend, which was awesome. And this works very well in this camper. Lots of space for a few days of camping for sure. So guys, I'm sitting here at the front dinette of the camper. Um, this is, like I said, probably the most uh, popular configuration from Four Wheel Camper. Um, you know, because for a number of reasons, number one, I think a lot of customers like uh, if you have, well, if you have an integrated cassette toilet, it forces you into a front uh, front dinette. If you have the inside shower, um, that forces you into this configuration as well. And right below me, this grate is the drain for the inside shower. And really, uh, that's the way we'd use that is remove this table. We have a curtain that attaches to these attachment points down here and connects to the bottom to this grate here. And then we have our attachment for our shower head, which would hook up and stay right there and you could actually rinse off and take a warm shower in here a cold shower if you had to um away from the elements um so that's um and and do customers do use that so if you if you decide for an inside shower or for an integrated cassette toilet it's going to be a front dinette on a camper model the other uh, dinette configurations are either going to be a side dinette or it's going to be the rollover sofa which is standard on the campers uh, if I want to turn this into a bed, I can easily do that by removing the table, sliding it into this groove here. All the cushions come together and I've got a lounge or a bed here where I can sleep the kids or another adult. Uh, this bed up here extends all the way out to this bump stop uh, right here. Um, and that allows us to have up to a king size bed uh, to sleep up, up on the standard uh, four wheel camper bed, which is cool. And all those cushions kind of come together and fill that extra space by this extension sliding out. Up above me, we have our powered vent fans. You get one standard powered vent fan in the four wheel campers, and then you get a, an extra vent up front. Um, this has the second powered vent fan, and uh, these fans actually have um, an automatic rain sensor, which was very cool this weekend. It started raining and they closed automatically. Uh, and then you can see the thermal pack inside the camper too. Uh, this is the thermal pack and we can go ahead and pull this down. You can actually pull another section down. Now we have the transparent section down. We can pull that and then actually have even more ventilation inside. Uh, same thing with the power vent fans. They're very easy to use. Just a touch of a button, it'll open up and start working the fan, which is really cool. Underneath the dinette area, you have quite a bit of storage. This storage was underneath the dinette area. Here's storage underneath each uh, seat in the dinette area. You have that on the passenger side and the driver's side. You'll see that some of the electrical and the access port for the turnbuckle in there as well. This is storage underneath the 130 liter fridge. Over here, you have extra storage where the integrated cassette uh, toilet compartment is located as well. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions on anything Four Wheel Camper, be sure to contact our sales team at 844-667-3687 or you can email us at sales at Bye guys!